products, we're headed up to Mighty Products. Uh, I know a lot of guys have seen us talk about them or heard us talk about them before in other videos. Oh, look at there, right on that tarp. Huh. There's their logo. Um, they provide their supplier for towing and trucking and farming, like farming for tarps and stuff like that for your hay bales. Um, rigging, cranes, auto industry towing, they sell all that kind of gear. And uh, I got in contact with them and went through the list uh, on their website, or made a list off their website of what I wanted. Got in touch with them, got it ordered, got it paid for, and we're headed up today to, pick, to go pick it up. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but I have talked about them in several other videos where I've been, as far as building on my uh, homemade uh, fifth wheel wrecker unit. And I got some chains and a leg ring and some other gear from them. And I'm going to be outfitting my wrecker, a little blue rollback, probably two more rollbacks, and maybe another wrecker. So I want to start getting everything ready to go. Oh, look, we're here. They're under construction. They're they're having uh, they're having a lot of construction work done. They're having uh, all their parking lots getting redone right now. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect. How we can get in. Oh wow. Yeah, it's it's major. They're doing major construction here. I would say. We're going in the You're side right. door. Um, yeah, they just keep growing and expanding, so okay, I'm gonna turn around here and then we'll head in. All right, so here's everything that we got today, and uh, I'm gonna go through it uh, piece by piece because some of it is for one truck to another truck to another truck, and even my trailer. These are uh, aluminum lockable chain racks so that you can hang your chain in here all the way across. They mount to the truck through bolts here, a trailer, whatever, and then you can fold it down and padlock both ends of it so nobody can steal your chains. I need those for my trailer. My gooseneck trailer has no place for chains. And for about 60 bucks, like 59, 69 bucks each, you can get them and bolt them on real quick. It's an easy, easy solution to that problem. These are bungee cords. These are um, crimped on the ends. The, uh, the S hooks are crimped so they won't come off. I got, uh, I got 50 of the 31 inch and I got 50 of the 21 inch. You can, I can I can never have enough bungee cords, so I'll split them up uh, in between the the one rollback, the wrecker, and my trailer. Uh, next is the same thing on these stake pocket D-rings. These things have a work and load limit of, what was it, 4,700 or 5,400 pounds. And they're, I got the ones that are adjustable for the different size stake pockets. You slide that in the stake pocket and run your pin through and they're adjustable by width as well. I've chose the ones that fit my stake pockets tight. And we're gonna put those in the trailer because I'm constantly chewing up the stake pockets with chains on that and I have to be outside the rub rail. And that thing's already uh, 102 wide. I like them, so I picked up 10 of those. These are for the rollback. These are the um, wheel straps that go around the back of the strap and then have a connector across the front and then a short section of chain on either end. So um, it basically wraps each tire with two contact points on each wheel. So those go to the rollback. I picked up two of these four ton snatch blocks. I bought the ones with the uh, grade 100 chain on it and the hook. Uh, those are both for the rollbacks. Uh, there's another rollback that you guys haven't seen regardless. So those are for the rollbacks. This is uh, a lockout kit and I bought this because we found ourselves recently locked out of a couple cars and uh, that was unfortunate. So this is the, the kit that's got the little tip on the end. It's a bendable rod. It's got the plastic wedges in here to get in between the door and then the inflatable cuff here it's like uh, a blood pressure cuff 
you get that down in there and you pump it up and squeezes or it uh, expands and allows you to get this down in and hit your hit your lock button or the lock lever on the car next is these slides I got these for the rollbacks um, sometimes you get stuff that don't run the wheels are locked up and these slides will make it a lot easier to get it up on the truck they're plastic pretty durable so I picked up four of them and that's all for that the rest of this is for the wrecker this is a front axle tie down kit um, I got this in to use sometimes when I'm pushing the limits and when I get the other one the other uh, under reach going this will go around the the axle and you can choke it like that and then you can take do the same thing on the other side and then take one of these ratchets ratchet binders and tighten it up so that it won't the front axle can't come out of the under reach out of the forks so I really wanted to get that I make one that's what's called a choker where this is open but I don't know I thought this was I like this better I didn't like the opening then I got uh, two grade 100 3 8 by 20 chains I'll be using these probably as safety chains most of the time but there's two of them in grade 100s 20 foot long and then I got two grade 100 10 foot long chains to use if I need to sling something so we got two of those and I got some of these recovery straps I didn't get these because I think we're gonna be doing recovery as much as it's nice sometimes for doing lifting on some of our stuff where I'd rather not use a chain I'd like to have something a little softer and you can see here this one's in a basket is 26,400 this is a 20 footer this is the orange one and it is 80,000 in a basket and it's that's a 12 footer and uh not that i think i need with these capacities right now but while i was getting them that's what i got now this is an 80,000 pound capacity in a basket and this one is 20 foot long let me tell you there's some weight there so now we need to get all of this separated and put in the trucks where they belong and get things organized a little better so here's a better look at that d-ring how it goes in the stake pocket um, this one I chose these because they have three different settings depending on how deep your stake pocket is and you just run that in and run the pin across here and there you go all right so this is what we're gonna do with these chains chain racks we're gonna put them right in here so that we can hang all of our chains right on there and lock them and then I want to have a aluminum box made here the same width as this and uh, that way all the chain the rest of the chain will sit and stay collected so we'll put it right here and one on that side shouldn't be in the way it should work out just fine I've been wanting to get these for a long long time that'd be a nice addition huh mm -hmm. make it so much nicer and not have all this on the deck okay that's about it all oh. All right, so my first order of lights came in. I was looking for the one that is meant to go on this pylon here. And I think I found one that'll cover these holes just fine. I'd like to have a polished piece of stainless that would go all the way up to the top and come down this way and, and cover the whole entire thing up here. But I don't have that right now. I don't know where to get it. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and put these in. They work just perfect as far as filling them holes covering up covering up what's already there and they're pretty bright and they're able to be uh, paired together so um, and then these are the other ones I got for the, the back these are gonna go on the back kind of the outside they're able to be paired as well as in uh, pattern together change the pattern on them they got outside lights as well amber lights so these ones are gonna go down in this area probably right in here I assume something like that up in that I don't know exactly where yet but um, I got lots of them other ones to you know cover all this 
some here. Everywhere there's a hole, I'm gonna try and cover that with a strobe. All right, so let's look at these ones first. These ones have markers on the outsides as well as they can be strobes and they have a work light. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on the marker lights. I like that because that's gonna be towards the rear and I'd like it to be able to shine back there and it's pretty bright. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these on as strobes. So all we have to do, now when you take the orange and you turn them on the amber and you turn them on as strobes, you turn them as the strobes, you lose the markers. I like how it has a built-in pattern. It's not just flashing, um, kind of boring. It changes its, its pattern. I like that. So then the next, the next function we have is floodlights for backup, which would be this one. So that'll make everything turned on. You can still see the, the strobes with that on. That is pretty bright. So these are going to go on the rear of the, the, the truck. We're going to see how we like them because we might add them to the bottom of the boom as well. I don't know. Uh, I don't like being alongside the road. I don't like being anywhere where distracted drivers are and too many tow truck drive any tow truck driver getting killed because someone not paying attention or whatever reason is awful i, I don't want to be one of the statistics so i think the more lights i can come up with the better so we know how these now that we know how these work we're gonna go ahead and set up this one and go through its functions so the first thing we're going to do is just turn this on and see how bright they are. So this has 26 different patterns. So the way you change that pattern is you take that yellow wire and you touch it to the ground momentarily. And then that'll run you through the 26 different possibilities of patterns. I like this one. So I'll probably leave that. And then this white wire right here is how you can tie all 16 of these together to do the same pattern at the same time. So every single one of them could be doing that same thing. That's pretty bright for a little light. So these will be filling all them holes that were in their bed already and taking care of that because I don't want to be alongside the road at night to begin with or even when it's raining. So any advantage I can give myself, um, I'm going to do it. And if that means putting a ton of LED strobe lights everywhere, so be it. That's what I'll do. Um, probably need, need to make something that you can put behind the car that's a strobe tower you know, that you, that's rechargeable that you can put behind, behind a car while you're working and, you know, give a little more warning. Because as a, as a car or truck is behind the wrecker, it kind of blocks this stuff a little bit. So except for the stuff that's up high, but I don't know. There's going to be a lot more lights, I can tell you that, but I'm pretty happy with what these are because these were cheap. 30-some bucks, 30-some bucks, and I have another set coming. Like I said, I think they're the same as what's on the front of the truck. So, you know, for the cost involved, how could you not it's how can you not put as many as possible i guess but the hardest part is the wiring like this um wiring all these together will be it'll take a while it's a lot of lights and a lot of a lot of wire a lot of soldering a lot of heat shrink all that but that's well worth it so i dropped the fuel tanks off to the polisher and he's working on polishing them now i have ordered all the front end parts, front leaf springs, all six pins, two leaf spring hangers, U-bolts, shocks, drag link, um, can't think, leaf springs themselves, center bolts. I, I think that's all, all the shackles, three, uh, 
two shackles for each side as well. So we'll have everything for the front end. And then Napa had these online for four bucks a piece. And they had a uh, tr uh, treat 15% discount. So I got 20 of them for 70 some bucks. You know, most brake chambers come with these, but we live in the Rust Belt. So by the time I go to get one of these out of the brake chamber, hmm, they're usually, usually pretty rough condition or you go to take them out and uh, they really just you you risk destroying the brake chamber so um i just figured we'd buy a bunch of them and have them in here so we need them one thing i'd like to do next is i like to have a place for uh cans i want to get one of them trays to put like um starting fluid penetrating oil things like that on in cans up here so so they're not getting dented and beat up like this uh a lot more to go a lot more to go i got so much stuff coming and so much work to do this truck and i just bought another truck today um we have to go pick it up probably tomorrow so i gotta end it here i hope you guys enjoyed and uh here soon we'll be getting it in the shop and getting some work done uh we're working on the mini truck now trying to get it finished up so we can get it out of the way but uh thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one